Oh, everybody says what? Roll to the left. Roll to the left. That's this way. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Try this again. I, I must have screwed it up. You wanted it to go that way, right? So we all saw that it went to the <laughs> left. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> That's a different angle. Oh, you want me to pull up this way? There it goes. Yeah, there I'm pulling, but it's at the limit of the friction and it ain't moving either way. So the rotten trick was that it can go in any of the directions, it depends on, well, I guess it depends on the angle at which I pull. And there's an angle such that it will not want to go either way. What determines that angle? Force of friction. Now I'm really confused. How does the force of friction determine that? Hmm. So if I pull straight up, does it make sense that it's going to go that way? Can someone explain that to me? Yeah. So, let's see. So, here's the yo-yo, and if I pull straight up, so I guess we should list the forces. There's gravity down. Yeah, we're downhill, I agree. All right, M, G. Uh, there's a tension force here. Normal force of reaction and anything else? Friction. Which way for friction? What's that? Apparently to the right. No friction. Okay, so no friction. So let me, let me see if I believe this. So I'm going to pull up, and it's going to move that way, but there's no force on it that way. Is that, is, is that what you mean? Not entirely sure at this point. Okay, so it's black magic. Well, no, actually, we don't believe in that stuff. Um, so, so I'm going to speculate... that there has to be a force of friction that way in order for it to be able to go that way. Unless you can come up with some other force that's moving it. Yeah? Is there a torque about the contact point, this point? So let's, let's pick this point. Um, so if I pick that point, let's go through the forces that we have. We have one, two, three, four forces and ask how many or what is the torque that each of those forces provides. So let's start with gravity. Why is it none? Yeah, the line of action of gravity passes right through that point. So the R perpendicular is zero. So no torque. So gravity, no torque 
about that point. Okay, what about the normal force? Also passes through that point. What about the frictional force? Also passes, that was a good choice. So tau sub static friction is zero. Okay, so what about the tension? Which way is that tending to operate with respect to that point? Is it clockwise or is it counterclockwise? So, so there's our perpendicular and this is tending to go, that's, that's counterclockwise. So tau of the tension, so if this is radius little r and this one is radius big R, then the torque would be R times the tension T and that's in the counterclockwise direction. So this isn't an equilibrium, it's not balanced because there is a net torque in the counterclockwise direction and when that happens, evidently, the yo-yo turns in the counterclockwise direction. Okay. On the other hand, if I pull this way, things reverse, but the case I want to think about is the one where I pull just right, stop that, and it doesn't tend to go either way. Jesse. The direction it's dependent on the radius of the axle, okay. Horizontally? Yes. Yeah. Pulling in that direction is greater than uh, the, the net torque. So I'm nervous about mixing apples and oranges here, about comparing a force to a torque. Okay, they have separate dimensions, and so we want to, I think, worry about them separately. But I would like you to think for the moment about how I would have to re jigger the tension, how I would have to change the direction of the tension using the brilliant idea, who are you? John. That Josh gave us, what will define the condition that it will be in equilibrium? 